A symbol of regeneration and hope. The first tree planted in the forest of remembrance next to the Bergamo Hospital where so many lost their battle against COVID-19. Oh, Today is a day full of sadness but also of hope. We decided to honour the memory of the victims with a living artwork, with a monument that breathes. In a national day of mourning, Prime Minister Mario Draghi led sombre services reflecting on the pain of the pandemic, which has now claimed more than 100,000 lives. We can't embrace, but today we must feel as united as possible. The government is here and always will be. On March 18, 2020, Bergamo became the country's symbol of suffering, with convoys of army trucks needed to cope with the sheer number of casualties. There are many images of this tragedy, but one is indelible, the line of military trucks loaded with coffins. One year on, and the region of Lombardy is once again the epicenter of the country's latest wave of infection. On Wednesday, there were 23,000 new cases of the virus and 431 deaths. Hospitals in red zones are overflowing with patients. We dreamed that this day would mark the end of a long and painful page of the pandemic, but infections are on the rise and new restrictions are in place. The Prime Minister paid tribute to frontline workers and pledged to accelerate the country's vaccination plan. I am here today to say thank you and I will dedicate myself, together with you all, to reconstruct the country without forgetting. In the memory of loved ones who are no longer here, we must be strong and work together to build a better future. Crucial words of faith amid yet another state of emergency. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Bergamo.